Three weeks left in the high school football season. Let's pull up the District 16A standings very quickly because they are in a log jam. Eastwood all alone in first place, but Montwood right behind them in second, which made tonight at the sack absolutely massive. So here we go. The Battle of the Woods is always one of the best rivalries in town, and this year with some big District 16A implications tonight for Eastwood and Montwood. The Troopers could clinch at least a share of the district title with a victory because they'd be up two games with two games to play. Conversely, Montwood could move into a tie for first with Eastwood with a win tonight. Plus, they would own the tiebreaker over the troop. This one had game of the year potential written all over it. From the jump, the Rams and Troopers absolutely delivering this evening. First Eastwood driver of the game, Evan Minjades loading up deep for Rudy Garcia. Let's go play 500. They do, and they score. The Troopers up 7-0. They were up 13-0, four minutes into the fourth court, first quarter. This is Michael Southern. Loading up, he finds Caleb Alvarez all by his lonesome. They go on the board. Second quarter, Montwood would take a 14 to 13 lead. Actually, Eastwood, though, goes to Max Mencia. He had four touchdowns on the night. They were up by a score at the break. Third quarter, Minjades up the middle on the quarterback keeper. They were up 41 to 27 there, but then Montwood would mount a charge. This will be Southern throwing it out wide to Gio Valera. Valera would do the rest. The catch and run, breaking ankles down the sideline, and he is loose. The Rams get within seven points, 41 to 34. Next, Eastwood drive. And the Troopers trying to score again. They give it to Max Mencia around the outside. However, tragedy, heartbreak for the Troop. He fumbles it, Montwood recovers, and they would take full advantage in the fourth quarter. This will be Diego Oaxaca on the give his brother Yamil playing for UTEP that would tie the game at 41 of he's but the troopers would recover Minjades around the right side on their ensuing drive in for the go ahead touchdown 48 41 Eastwood with under six minutes to play let's go under three minutes to play now back and forth we go Montwood driving trying to score to tie the game but Jaden James intercepting Southern that would end it. The troops run off the clock. Eastwood gets the 48 to 41 victory. What a game. They have at least a share of the district championship now with two weeks to play and a playoff berth in hand. Sam Guzman was at the sack all night. He's got more from head coach Julio Lopez and the troop. Hey, Colin Eastwood grabbing a 48-41 win over District 1, 6A foes Monwa tonight here at the SAC. And to talk about tonight's win, Eastwood head coach Julio Lopez joins me. Coach Lopez. Heavyweight fight. I mean, back and forth between you guys and the Rams. Just how does it feel to go through a game like that and not only go through it, but come out with a W? Yeah, you know, nine years of playing those guys. Uh, Coach Ron Hill has done a great job, but honestly, every year it feels like it's a barn burner that comes down to the last possession. Now you're up uh, six and zero in District One Six A play. Two games left in the season. Just. How does that sound, and I guess how do you guys move forward from here? Yeah, well, we did a lot tonight. Number one, we clinched a share of the district championship. That's our third in the last four years. So maybe people can stop sounding surprised that we're at the top of this district because we've been doing it. We clinched a, a one seed in Division Two, which is huge because we put ourselves squarely in the driver's seat to host a playoff game. And, you know, next week now we're going to have a chance to win it outright. Congratulations, Coach Lopez, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you, Coach. Right now I'm joined by Jaden James. Jaden, just run me through that last drive, game-winning interception for you. Just what was going through your mind once you uh, sealed the deal for your team? Honestly, uh, a lot was going through my mind. You know, it felt it felt great. Uh, Securing the dove for my team, you know, felt, felt real great. Now you guys are 6-0 and in District 1, 6A play. Uh, kind of have control of your own destiny. Just what does that mean to you guys now, knowing there's two games left in the season, you guys kind of have things maybe wrapped up depending on how you guys play? Um, me personally, I don't I don't like to think that it's wrapped up yet because, you know, job's not finished yet. So uh, we, we still have a couple games to go. So we'll, 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 we'll secure the dove. Awesome. Congratulations, Jaden. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for now. Eastwood coming out. Victorious over Montwood. Colin, I'll send things back to you in the studio. Thank you, Sam. How about that for the troop? Up in New Mexico, Las Cruces High hosting Carlsbad in District 3 4 4 a action. 3 4 6 a action, excuse me. 7 0 Carlsbad in the first quarter. Daniel Amato ties it up there with the rushing touchdown for the Bulldogs. Let's go to the second quarter. Now Carlsbad driving, but Andres Acosta there for the interception on the screen pass. He would take it back for the score, make it to a touchdown lead there. For the Bulldogs, they roll 43 to 14. They're 5 and 4, 4 and 0 in district play. They take on Centennial next week in a game that will almost certainly decide the district championship. One other score tonight Deming beat Chaparral 43 0.